Microsoft Word will let you create your own styles. If you look in the Styles pane, these are the preset styles for the template that I'm using, but I can also design my own styles that I can continuously use in other documents. To do that, I would go to the Home tab, Styles Group, I can click the More button, and I can choose Create a Style. And here is where I can give my style any name I want. Right now I'm going to call it Author Bio, but I want to make some more changes, so I don't simply just want to create a style. So I'm going to hit Modify, and you'll see all the options available. There is a style type. So is this a paragraph, is this a character, a table, or a list? This would be a paragraph. Then is it going to be based on any of these other styles? And I'm going to say it's going to be based on normal font. And then down here is where you can start making your changes. We could choose a different font. You could choose a different font size. You could choose a different font color. You could decide whether you want it to be left aligned, centered, or right aligned. You could do the spacing. And if you, if you want to see what's changing down here, it'll show you line spacing set to double. If I click this button, line spacing set to one and a half. This will add spacing before the paragraph, and this will remove it. Then I can also add an indent. So I have a left indent of half inch. I can go to format and I can change more things. So under font, I can decide do I want this to be all caps or small caps? Do I want it to be bolded? I'll go under the advanced tab. I can scale it. I can mess with the spacing. I can expand the characters. So if I want to spread the letters out a little bit. I can go under Format and Paragraph, and I can get specific with my line spacing. Maybe I want it to be exactly 10 points, and after it, I want it to be 6 point spacing after, and I want it centered still. Then I can go to Line and Page Break and see if there's anything else that I want to change there. We can add a border to it if we'd like. You could just choose to get rid of all the borders but the bottom border. And you can even choose to give that a color. And this is my new style. And if you want to apply that to other things, you just would select those items and click on that. And now I've applied my new style.